Hi, my name is Katie with Factory Direct Crafts, and today we're going to make these super cute, um, kind of untraditional birthday cards. Um, you can write a little note. This is a chalk circle, so you can erase it um, and just write a sweet birthday greeting. It's a lot more fun than a traditional card, and it also can take the place of a bow on top of a present, um, which is a really fun way uh, to wrap. So anyways, um, what we're going to need to do this craft is you're going to need an old book, um, or at least some pages from one. So I found this uh, just at a thrift store. Um, and the pages are old and weathered looking, so that's super cool and fun. Um, you're going to need a pair of scissors. You're going to need some jute. Um, you're going to need a chalk pen, um, some chalk circles. These are David Tatera chalk circles. And you're going to need a ruler and a hot glue pen. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so the first step is going to be ripping a page out from your book. So I'm just going to open it to the center and tear out a page. Um, let's do two pages. Okay, really easy. Um, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to accordion fold these pages and the folds are going to be three quarters of an inch. So I'm just going to go ahead do my fold so it's at the three quarters of an inch mark on my ruler and um, what is going to make these look really good is if you have a nice crisp line so I'm just going to use the handles of my scissors if you have a paper folding tool that's great um, and we're just going to use it to, to get a crisp line so I'm going to go ahead and fold both of these sheets into the accordion fold and I'm using my scissors each time uh, just to get that nice crisp line. So once you've finished folding um, both of your pieces of paper, we're going to go ahead and do a um, inverse V on the top. We're going to cut it off. So I'm just going to sketch that on with the pen. And we're going to get a nice V shape. And I'm going to do the same on the other piece of paper. And I'm doing the V about half an inch. So you just draw that on so you get nice clear cuts. Then I'm going to take my scissors and go ahead and cut that out. And this is going to give the ends a nice clean look. And you can do different shapes. You can do um, a zigzag. You can do a half circle. Um, and it'll make your decoration turn out a bit different depending on how you cut it. and here. Okay, now we're ready to start connecting our pages together. So we're going to go ahead and fold this in half and we're going to do a nice clean line once again using those scissors to make that nice fold and we're going to fold the second piece of paper in half as well. Make sure you fold that right down the center. Um, now what we're going to do is you're going to go ahead and cut a piece of jute, about a foot long, and you're going to put these two together, so you're making an X, and we're going to go ahead and tie them right down the crease. And then you want to go ahead and just do a nice and tight double knot because this is what's going to hold it together. Okay, and then once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and just add a bow for decoration so then the back of your card looks cute like the front. So there we got that. Okay, now we're ready to start making it into a circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply a line of hot glue right down the center here, and I'm going to uh, attach the pages together. So you just add that line of hot glue, and you press the pages together. And you want to hold it for a few seconds just to make sure that it sticks. And there we go. Okay, and then you're going to do this between every crease. Okay. okay, and now we are to the final one that we need to attach. So I'm going to make sure that those are dry. See how cute that's looking? I'm going to do one more line of hot glue. And we're going to attach that. 
Um, make sure the bow of it is not in the center, but it's on the top of the pages. Um, just like that so that it can glue entirely together. So pull that out of the way. Okay, and one more line of hot glue. And let's push those together. And we're going to hold that because this is the attachment that is hardest to get it to stick right. There we go. Okay, so this is what your finished circle will look like. Super cool. You see the way that the cuts add that fun zigzag look around the edge. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add a chalk circle to the front. So I'm just going to take my chalk circle and add a dab of glue to the back right in the middle. And you want to do a fairly big pile because we need to make sure it sticks. And then I'm just going to press it down right on the center. See how cute that looks? I love it. Okay, and then you can write happy birthday um, or any other message or note you'd like to leave a person. Um, chalk ink pen works great because you can create really crisp, clean lines on like a regular piece of chalk. So you can see how that looks. So neat. I love this pen. Um, and then to finish it off, you can actually hang this or attach it to a present. You can just take a piece of twine and string it through the chalk circle. And you can just tie a little knot at the top and hang it. See, it works as a hanger for it. Or um, you can go ahead and tie it through both sides of the chalk circle. You can add the twine through and attach it to the top of a present and use it in place of a bow. It's just a super cute, um, fun, really easy craft that adds a lot to any gift that you might be giving. Um, anyways, I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and have a lot of fun trying this out yourself. Thanks for watching, guys.